This is the fifth video on the subject of congruent triangles and we're going to be looking at a fourth way of deciding whether or not two triangles are congruent to each other and it's called the right angle hypotenuse side method RHS for short and it says that in any right angle triangle that if the hypotenuse and another side are the same lengths then the triangles are congruent but it only applies to right angle triangles so let's see if we can see what that means now those two triangles are congruent not necessarily because they're a right angle there uh, because the SAS rule holds in other words we've got two pairs of sides equal and the angle between them is equal as well so SAS now it's important with SAS that you have the angle in between the two sides now look at this situation we've got two pairs of equal sides but the angle isn't between them so that situation the triangles are not necessarily congruent unless that is that the angle there is a right angle that does make them congruent so the rule says that when you've got a right angle a hypotenuse and another side the same then the triangles are congruent and the reason we give is RHS right angle hypotenuse side it only works for right angle triangles it's important to remember that now we're going to use um, this method uh, to show an important theorem or rule about circles and, this, and the rule says that if you have two tangents from a single point P to a circle uh, then those two tangents are equal in length from P to A and P to B are the same length now how are we going to prove that well I said we'd use congruent triangles uh, which is rather strange because we haven't got any triangles at all yet but let's have a look and see if we can make some I join the two radiuses uh, to the points A and B and I join the center of the circle O to the point P so that gives me two triangles now let's see if we can prove that they're congruent to each other that's going to be our method well here's the proof first of all the angle OAP that's this one and the angle OBP are equal to each other because they're both equal to 90 degrees why well there is a rule which says that that's the case and it's a rule that you should know the angle between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees OP is common now that doesn't mean I'm, I'm being rude about it it just means that it's the same side in both triangles OP is common is the way that a lot of mathematicians would describe that situation and thirdly those two lengths are the same why because they're both radii of the circle now let's sum up we've got a right angle in both triangles we've shown that the hypotenuse is the same in both triangles because it's actually this line which is in which is common to both triangles and we've shown that uh, two sides two other sides are the same so the triangles are congruent and they're congruent for the reason RHS and so it follows that PA equals PB those two sides are equal to each other which means we've proved what we set out to do that the two tangents from a point to a circle are equal in length that's what we set out to prove now just to continue uh, it follows from the fact that the two triangles are congruent that other things are equal as well but in particular those two angles are equal to each other and those two angles are equal to each other that might be useful in solving some other problems